During the Second World War, there were many war crimes committed by different armies. Some of the most barbaric and brutal crimes include the treatment of prisoners of war by the Japanese army in the Pacific. Many Allied servicemen who found themselves under the custody of the Japanese were kept in terrible conditions and were underfed, malnourished and forced to conduct back-breaking work. Many died on work projects supervised by the Japanese or on death marches such as the Bataan Death March. Executions were also carried out by the Japanese, many of which were incredibly brutal, with some being beheaded by swords. But one of the most shocking war crimes of the Second World War allegedly saw a number of Allied servicemen and prisoners of war captured by the Japanese in Indonesia being fed to sharks inside of pig baskets. Join us today as we look at the story behind this and remember to support our channel. Please make sure to subscribe. It's been estimated that between 3 and 40 million people were killed as a result of Japanese war crimes through human experimentation, massacre, forced labour or starvation. Many soldiers were confessed to their crimes after the war and a number of high profile war criminals were sentenced to death but the majority went unpunished. Following the Germans occupying the Netherlands in Europe, martial law was declared in the Dutch East Indies, now Indonesia. The Dutch would declare war on the Japanese following the attack on Pearl Harbor and the Japanese invaded on the 10th of January 1942 and within less than three months the Japanese army would overrun the colony quickly which led to the Dutch surrendering. The Battle of Java took place between the 28th of February and the 12th of March 1942 and the Allies fought against the Japanese but within a week or so of the battle it was clear that the Allies defeat was inevitable. With this, a surrender of Java was issued by the Royal Netherlands East Indies Army, and in the aftermath of this, the land began to fall under Japanese occupation. Many of those resented the occupiers, and because of this, they were brutally imprisoned and were put down. The senior British, Australian and American commanders in Java were summoned, and after the surrender was signed, they were promised the rights of the Geneva Convention for their soldiers, but this was not adhered to. Following the surrender, 200 Allied soldiers fled to the hills around Malang, and they would form resistance groups to carry out guerrilla attacks against the Japanese. But within a short time, the soldiers were allegedly captured by the military police of the Japanese army, and it was then when it was alleged that the pig basket atrocity took place. The men who had been captured were then forced into three foot long bamboo baskets, which were used for transporting pigs. It was claimed that following this, the men were then thrown into the back of open transport trucks and were then driven through the countryside. The weather was very hot and close to 40 degrees Celsius and the trucks then drove down towards the railway lines. After they reached them, the Allied soldiers in the baskets were then transported again inside of them in open rail wagons towards the coast. As they approached their final destination, the Allied soldiers were suffering heavily with heat stroke and dehydration, along with the pain in which being confined in a pig basket would cause. It would be excruciating, with often six foot tall men being shoved into three feet bamboo baskets. When they reached the coast, they were unloaded from the trains and were loaded onto fishing boats and were then taken off the coast to the water off Surabaya, which was known for being shark infested. The predators in the sea would circle around in the waters and then confined to the baskets, the men were then thrown one by one into the ocean. The men drowned and it's then claimed were eaten by sharks. One witness, a 15 year old girl at the time, Elizabeth Van Kempen, told how she witnessed the atrocity. She was standing with her father near to a mountain ridge and she heard the screams of the soldiers. Other witnesses in the area claimed that they heard or saw the event, the pig basket atrocity, and would state that they saw the transport of the men. Elizabeth Van Kempen would state, One day around noon, the hottest time of the day, a convoy of about four or five army trucks passed the street where we were playing, loaded with so-called pig baskets, which were normally used to stack pigs during transport to the slaughterhouse or the market. Pigs were only for European and Chinese customers in the market. Javanese were not allowed to eat them, 
and considered pigs as dirty animals, from which contact should be avoided. In other words, any connections with pigs were shameful. To our astonishment, the pig baskets were crammed with Australian soldiers, some of them still wearing parts of their uniform, a few even in their special hat. They were tied in pairs, two to each other, facing each other, and stacked like pigs in the baskets, lying down. Some were in a terrible state, crying for water. I saw one of the Japanese guards open his fly and urinate on them. I remember being terrified, and I can never forget this picture in my mind. Later my father told me the trucks were driven through the town as a show to the Indonesians for utter humiliation of the white race, finally being dumped in the harbour and left to drown. The commander-in-chief of the Japanese forces, based inside of Java at the time, was the Lieutenant General Hitoshi Imamura. He would never face charges specifically for this atrocity, but was later found guilty of other war crimes, including the executions of Allied prisoners of war. He was tried by Australian Military Tribunal, and was sentenced to 10 years imprisonment, being held at Tokyo's Sagamu Prison. What is shameful is that the men who had been forced into small and tight bamboo cages were paraded throughout the streets. This was almost like medieval executions and Tudor executions, such as hanging, drawing and quartering, in which a condemned person was shown off to the local population as a way of deterring them from committing crimes. They were usually drawn behind the back of a horse and paraded through cities such as London. The sight of the Allied soldiers inside of the boxes must have been terrifying, and there must have also been many more witnesses who saw the events that day. The fact the men became bait for the sharks shows how much disdain the Japanese had for their enemy during World War II, and also how they would stop at nothing to inflict such horrifying scenes. The pig basket atrocity was a shocking war crime conducted by the Japanese, which was never brought to trial or punished. This was the case with many atrocities and massacres conducted during the Second World War as a whole, as there would be very few who would actually face justice. It is a horrifying account of the lengths that some people would go to to inflict such suffering and death and humiliation onto an enemy, and it shows how cruel the Japanese army really could be. The atrocity saw many men being literally thrown to the sharks who would feed on them. Thanks for watching. To support our channel, please make sure to subscribe, and once again, thank you so much for watching.